What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. It is day 64. We are at the start of week 10 of this transformation and I am weighing 227 pounds. Feeling all in the muscle today. I feel like I look as lean as I was at 213, just much more filled out now. So yeah, feeling pretty full this morning, feeling a little bit bloated. Had some low-fat ice cream last night, and uh, yeah, that's the, the carbs that is blowing me out right now. One thing I like to do in the mornings to help keep my waist tight, a lot of you guys have been asking, how do you keep your waist, you know, pulled in while building out your upper body. Something that I've always practiced are stomach vacuums. Um, now these aren't something that, you know, you see too often. It's kind of making a comeback in the classic physique division. And it's kind of becoming a big deal about whether or not, you know, the open class of bodybuilders can actually even do a vacuum pose. Not that I think that it's necessary for the open bodybuilding class, but I think the classic physique should be doing a vacuum pose. But it's something that I practice on a regular basis, and I feel like that really strengthens my transverse abdominis, which is the ab layer that goes underneath your six pack, and it actually helps tighten your waist and help the stronger that is the easier it is to keep your waist you know pulled in and, and and small so I feel like working that keeps my waist small and and the fact um, that you just practice a, a vacuum pose it really helps but a lot of people don't even know like how to go about doing it and it's a very strange like being able to suck in my waist by using my lungs because it's like a weird thing where you have, you push all the air out of your lungs and then you try to suck in air while keeping your mouth and everything closed so that you can't. And what ends up happening is it's like your diaphragm like pulls up into your rib cage and pulls everything up with it. So but I just remember like pulling in my waist and then sucking in. You see, I'm kind of out of breath from that, but keeping a straight face and trying to uh, not look like a weirdo going, trying to pull in your waist. Um, but I practice those regularly. You know, I try to hold for as long as I can, usually like 10 seconds at a time. And then uh, you'll feel a, a deep, a deep burn, like down in your obliques, underneath your abs. But that's something that I regularly do uh, to help keep my waist as tight as possible so that I'm not just blowing that up, you know, as I, as I grow. So anyways, guys, it is April 1st. Christian Guzman's summer shredding ends July 1st. So we've got all of April, May, and June. We've got three whole months to transform even more, which is insane to me. Yeah, because I've, I've come a long ways so far in these last nine weeks. So uh, today is Monday, it is an HGH and insulin day, so we will be having uh, lots of carbs spread out throughout the day. I've got my stuff sitting on the counter now, ready to go. So I'm going to take that and then I'm gonna make a small carb shake to sip on. Uh, we're gonna have our pre-workout, which is going to be Chemex, and then we're going to put together our intra workout shake, which is gonna consist of about 100 grams of carbs between orange juice, a banana, and dextrose. So we're gonna be sipping on this throughout our workout. There's 100 grams of carbs in this. And then right after our workout, we're going to take a shot of Humalog in the amount of five IUs, very small dose. All right, let's get one last vacuum pose. <sighs> Whew. It burns. All right, guys, I'm gonna get dressed and then I will see you at the gym.
All right, guys, so just got done training my clients for the afternoon, and we had our award assembly for the weight loss competition. And guess what? Check it out. That means yours truly had the most people lose weight on his team. Um, there were, so there are a few different uh, prizes for this uh, competition. My client, who I thought was going to win the whole thing, got second. Um, <laughs> got second to a guy at the other club that we have. My guy lost 12.9% of his body weight. This guy from the other club lost 23%. <laughs> Apparently he was like some uh, some like ex-wrestler who had cut weight plenty of times before. So he uh, kind of knew what he was doing a little bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to get out of here. Yeah, so the guy at the other club lost 23%. Um, smoking, me, my, my client, myself, and everybody else. One of my clients got second place. My other client got third place. Um, my team won. We lost, my team lost 30% of their body weight. Uh, the next best trainer had law had 22 percent for their team so safe to say uh yeah my team kicked ass and uh they had the right guidance and let me tell you guys when it comes to weight loss it's all about nutrition it's all about your diet it's what i kept repeating to them is that if you want to lose this weight you've got to eat right like that's 100 percent what it's all about and and that 30% came from only three of my clients. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we did, we did pretty good. But yeah, so I won top trainer for the contest. Uh, that gave me 300 bucks, and my team is going to get a, uh, is going to get a little party at the restaurant that's in the gym. So... That'll be pretty fun for all of us. Yeah, guys, so great news for tonight. Definitely stoked about that. Um, I kind of expected it, not gonna lie. It is what it is. Like, if you don't, if you don't, if you can't get your clients to understand that diet is everything when it comes to body composition and weight loss, yeah, you're just, you're not gonna do well as a trainer. I mean, you're, you just, you have, you have got to be able to get that across to your clients that you cannot outwork a bad diet. That's all there is to it. So yeah. Anyways, um, what a great way to end the, end the day. What a great way to end the video. Yeah, that's right. We're done. We're ending this right now. So thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much for your support. Remember, I've got all my supplements listed down below in the description box, so if you are interested in anything that I take, go ahead and use the links down below. You'll be able to uh, give me a little bit of a kickback from Amazon, and that'll support the channel and help me help you more often. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow.